I've had this goal for years at this point in the Hunter Classic to get at least a thousand kills with every single bow in the game, and that's gotten more difficult as they've added more bows over the years. But recently we've started to gain some ground, and as we sit right now with the Orange Pulsar, we're at 985 kills, so we're here on Pickabean Bay. We're going to see if we can get the last 15 and get the Orange Pulsar to 1,000. And once we have that, we're going to have all of the compound bows and all the crossbows to 1,000 total. And I think we'll be missing three traditional bows that we still got to get there, so still a lot to do. But it kind of feels like, finally, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, we probably could have done this with all charging water buffalo and it wouldn't even have taken that long. But I wanted to also work on sandbar deer harvest because I don't have 100 of those. And there is a banner you can have behind your profile if you have 100 harvests of every single species. And I kind of want to get that one. So while we're here on Pikmin Bay, I thought we'd kind of work with that as well. If he's just going to kind of stand there, we're going to try to hard shot him. They're pretty tanky, so getting them down immediately is good because we're not going to have to track them forever. And there was actually a group of does, so there's no like audible call for them. It's just the scent. And I have no idea if that even attracts the females, but... There is a feral hog over there. I think we'll probably ignore that. But if those sandbar deer hang around, and if they're still down there, I'd like to go and try to get another one. Because I think we're close to 50 of these. This is a relatively small buck. We actually didn't even harsh shot him, just double lunged him. So good to know the pulser can do that. And go figure. Not only was there a sandbar buck in the area, there was a rusa buck and actually a second rusa buck that just called from back where we kind of came from. So we'll give him another call. If we can, we're going to try to find a spot to squeeze a shot in here. Maybe if we kind of sidestep this stuff. They're not quite as tough to get as the sandbar. They're smaller for one, and I also just don't think they're as like easy to spook. But if we could get a couple of them, that definitely wouldn't be a bad deal. And I really don't know about that herd of sandbar females, so we might just kind of ignore them. But that's two already, and I really wasn't sure how quickly we'd be able to get harvest up here. Like, I knew we could go down towards the river and just get water buffalo to sort of wrap up. But the fact that we're already looking at a third potential buck, we're definitely on a pretty good pace. I don't imagine we're going to get into this scenario again during this hunt, but we're kind of up on the railroad tracks. I can't actually range that. Maybe when we crouch up, that's about 40. I think we might go for that, though, because I don't want him to walk under us. He sees us. He's going to be off to the side, but hopefully into one lung. So it took him forever to, like, choose a direction. He just kind of kept walking around over here, and I thought we might need to get out on the tracks to get over to him. But he finally chose to cross. He's actually running back our way, which might cut off a significant amount of time of tracking. Well, as long as he goes that way, we don't even have to cross. I think this at least could be a good opportunity to find out if the scent spray works for sandbar does. Because I'm really not sure. They should have been close enough to come into the last one, but this will maybe tell us for sure. We'll give that a little while to see if she does anything. And our roost deer is down right here. Unfortunately, that was a lung shot, because otherwise we might have been doing a whole lot more tracking. But I think this guy's about the same as the last one. Left lung and 115, so I think he's actually a little bit bigger. But three and a half minute wound time, so they're still a lot tougher than other deer around their size. But let's see if that sandbar female's doing anything. I don't see her. So she could be coming in. I would say she is. So I'm really not sure what happened to that first group of does, but she actually could even be a part of it. So even if it is just a doe, this is definitely one we want to get. Might try kind of like a neck shot kind of thing. I don't know what we got, but instant dropped her as well. Actually, we've done better with the bigger deer so far than the smaller ones. But that's four if I'm still counting correctly. And the fact that that's just body blood probably says that is a neck shot, so good way to do it, I guess. And actually, even did a mission. I actually don't even know with a Rusa deer what a good one really looks like. I know he's got a short time here, so he can't be huge. But that estimate is 140 to 195, and the other two that we shot were like 112 and 115. So he's definitely way better. I feel like 170 is a pretty good one, and I don't think he's going to be quite in that area. But definitely a better buck. 
And now that he's kind of getting into range, for one, I don't like that he's walking behind that, but let's see if he'll stop for us. And I think we might have just made another next shot, but let's see what this guy is. That's our fifth harvest, so ten more to go. And I wonder, even with that short time, could he actually be somewhere in that area of 170? Because since they changed their, like, frame shape, I don't even know what a good one actually looks like. We did hit him in the neck, and 148, so he's towards the lower end. I don't think he's anything real special with that score, but had he had that other time not being short, I can imagine 160 being about where he would have been. So, admittedly, this is not one of my finer moments. I've managed to get myself stuck between the roots of this tree. And, essentially, we can't do anything about that until the timer to fast travel is over, which is actually pretty soon. And I kind of did that trying to find a decent place to get this sandbar deer. So she's walking into bow range. Luckily, they do actually come into the scent. And I really hope we can drop her there. <sighs> Try to go for a hard shot just to be sure, because once we actually can get out of here, didn't want to have to track her as well, but... At least we're getting something done as we're just waiting to be able to get out of here. The annoying thing is the tent is right behind us. So we're not even going to fast travel that far when we get out of here, but not too much longer away and we'll be able to. Well, that was definitely a little bit annoying, but I'm just glad that it wasn't a complete waste of 30 minutes. We actually kind of got something productive done. Heart shot our sandbar deer and everything. And I think that's the third or fourth sandbar we've shot, so... Actually, adding to that total as we get near our 1,000 harvest with the pulser. So there was supposed to be a sandbar buck in the area. We got a doe to come in. On the off chance the buck is somewhere close, I think we're going to try to take her out, unfortunately. That might not even be a long shot. So I didn't realize it, but she only ran for like 7 seconds. Because we got lung liver, so that actually wasn't too bad. But we were tracking a max weight sandbar buck. And I really have no idea what happened to the one that called, but it wasn't the one we were actually tracking, so we're just going to get back on that trail rather than risk completely losing it. So kind of figures we'd get sort of ambushed by a sandbar doe while trying to get the buck to come in. He just called. I'm not sure if that's going to spook him off or not, but I'm guessing we got into a lung there. Can't really tell from here, but I hope that buck's going to come in because... The range on those tracks is so big, it really doesn't say much that it was max weight estimate, but I at least want to see him. That's our buck. I think he's actually coming into the old scent that we had down. And he's not a bad size, he's 145 to 215, they definitely get bigger. But for the fact that we almost spent a lot more time tracking him, not too bad. And we have another doe somewhere right in front of us. Let's hope we can make a better shot than we did on that doe that was coming in. Don't know what we got there, but that dropped him. And there's still the other doe that's hanging out there not too far away. I'm not sure what we can do. Like, if we put more scent down, she's going to stay at the previous scent. So we'll sort of take our time getting over there, but we might be able to even get another bonus one. And I shouldn't say for certain this is our buck, but I'm assuming at least he's pretty heavy at 431 kg. And a 192 score, and it was that spine one there that actually dropped him. So let's see if all of the tracks on our hunter mate disappear. And they did, so that was the buck. Now we have the other doe walking by. Even they are pretty keen, so... <sighs> drop her. That's going to be 10 kills if we can go and find that last uh, doe that we shot, which it looked like intestine blood. I'm hoping it is, because otherwise if it's just a body shot, she's going to run forever. But lung, liver, stomach was enough to drop that one. And I didn't mark the exact spot where we hit the other doe, but can't be too far from here. I don't know where we hit her, but she bled like crazy through there, so I gotta think it's like liver stomach. And it was liver intestine, actually, and shoulder blade somehow, so... I don't know how we didn't get a lung through there, but that, I think, puts us at 10. We actually need to reload our quiver. And if we can kind of make a single shot on our last five animals, this uh, set of five arrows in our quiver should get us to 1,000. So we're actually going to head down towards the river now. We've shot 10 of Rusa and Sandbar Deer, so I want to look for water buffalo and stuff a little bit. And from where we are, I think fast traveling is probably our best move. Well, that guy's definitely not bad sized. 
He's not huge for like that horn shape, but he's sort of just walking right to us. And the charging for them is a lot less consistent than the bison. So if he'll just walk right in, what I think we can do is, well, that hit a lot higher than I wanted. I was gonna try to go for a heart shot, but we got up way high. It got a lung, so it'll work, but I was kind of hoping to just drop him there. So unfortunately, not much we can do about this one. It's just a little female, but she's trying to charge us. Probably got single lung again. I think the snake bite being a little harder hitting is better for this, but it brings them down eventually. This guy, I think, just actually died for us. So I'm curious what he scores, but he was like a three and a half minute wound time. 229, that's about as low as they can score with the bigger horns. And I guess we're completing mission objectives again, but yeah, I mean, she's gonna run for a while, but eventually she'll go down from that. And actually given her a little bit of time, she must have just bedded right here and gone down, because she's 3 minutes and 10 seconds, so about the same. But I I guess that somehow placed us in that comp. It's supposed to be, like, walking gets you, but we completed another mission. But anyway, hopefully we can find just better sized water buffalo if we're going to have to track them. That from a distance looks way bigger than what we just shot. We got to be careful. Because if they're in the water at all, they spook. And he almost looks like he is spooked, but that says 250 to 290, I think. We'll get another spot on him when we get up over this hill. And I didn't get to see the weight, because it kind of does matter for them. Let's see if we can get that to spot again with just the binoculars, because he looks way wider. He's definitely bigger. I mean, the bottom end of the score estimate was like 20 higher. Yeah, 250 to 290, but only up to 1160 kg. So I don't think he's like a leaderboard one necessarily. Usually you gotta be a little closer to 1200, but that's definitely a good one. And I feel like that comp was 270s, the one where they have to be walking, and apparently they don't have to be, it might just be moving. But if we can get into range and take some kind of walking shot, we'll definitely try that. And now that I'm thinking of it though, the first one we shot was walking right at us and that didn't count, so I'm not even sure. I mean, that looks just massive, but let's see. He sort of knows we're here, but he's not going to run off. And he's going to charge us. Well, we'll see if we can manage to do the same thing we did with the female then. We'll kind of sidestep him. I don't like where we're at necessarily. All right, that's not exactly ideal, but maybe. All right, not going to end up chasing him forever. I don't know if that's going to count. I really don't. Because I feel like we shot the female when she was standing still. 1106 kg brain shot and 267. I mean, that's a good one. It, for some reason, counts. I know it's not a charging comp. There are those as well. But this one said for walking. Unfortunately, that's not going to get us top three anyway. But a good sized buffalo, best we've had in a while. And I actually quite like the way that turned out. So good spot to drop him there. Could probably do without the arrow directly in his brain, but at least you get to see how he made the shot. And we have a 270 something taxonomized, but 100 GM for that. I didn't realize they paid out that well for a decent sized one. It's actually good to know. What are we at? I think we need two more, hopefully, to get to a thousand kills, as long as we're counting, right? And he's far from the biggest sandbar that we've seen today, but he's definitely pretty uh, aware of his surroundings. Caught on to us pretty quick. And I think once again we're a little bit low there. Might have been a lung, but try to center that when they're potentially at least going to be spooking at any second. It's a little bit tough, but we got a lung, so he won't go too far. And we could have gotten lung liver again like before. I kind of doubt it, but yeah, he's down right there, so I guess we did. And as long as we haven't like forgotten an animal somewhere, that will be harvest number 999. 110 score, so that was actually smaller than both the Rusa Bucks we shot as well. That right there would be a pretty good harvest number 1000. Actually, the fact that he's sort of angry with us pretty much seals that that's going to be the one. Up to 275 that time. I mean, he almost looks bigger, and that's the orange common, but I'm pretty sure, as we're reloading our quiver again, that should be harvest number 1000. I'm curious if he will be actually bigger. Than that last one. He's 1138 kg. 
and 269, so almost cracked 270. There is our 1000 Blaze Orange Pulsar uh, Harvest achievement. And where does that put us in the competition? I guess that one didn't count as walking. I really don't know how that works, but 2 over 265 is not bad for one hunt. Just to do something different, going with a trophy shot from that angle for that guy. And that is, at least at this point, unless anything else gets released at some point in the future, the last time in a while that we'll be consistently using a compound or crossbow. So from here on out, it's the heavy recurve, the carbon recurve, the longbow, and the cable back. I think I said three bows earlier, but I guess it's actually four. So still a long way to go, like I said, but that's got us all the way through the more modern bows. So things will be interesting using those other bows in the future, but I think it'll be fun as well to have that challenge. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.